Let's get to it. YouTube, what is going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. And I uh, want to make a kind of like a housekeeping wrap-up video regarding the Trials of Osiris. Kind of talk through all the stuff we know right now in terms of uh, getting in, what you're going to do once you're in there, map rotation, timing, all this sort of stuff. And uh, we're going to start off right here with a Trials Passage. So when we um, when we got all together in Seattle, each one of us got a Trials Passage. So we couldn't get into the Trials of Osiris until they plopped that in our inventory. And then we were able to go in. Now, Datto and uh, Holtzman were level 34, I was only level 32, but I realized that I put a bunch of etheric light in my inventory, so I was able to upgrade all of my Crota gear and also my Heart of Praxic Fire, because remember, level advantages are turned on, so you want to go in there with your highest level character. And you want to do the same thing also with your weapons, so I went in there, used the etheric light, upgraded my Red Death, Felwinter's Lie, and Corrective Measure all to 365. So, And of course, I had to go in there and upgrade my Vex to class for some of the other things that we did uh, playing the House of Wolves. So now that Trials Passage that I am hovering over, that's going to be your uh, scorecard. So yellows are wins, reds are going to be losses. So remember, you don't want to get too many losses because you will get booted. Now for actually getting one of the Trials Passages, I'm a little fuzzy on that one. So I was DMing with uh, Miss 5000 Watch just now. We're not exactly 100% sure right now, but we know that you get, well, from what we understand right now, is that you get it basically by doing uh, the stuff that's in the House of Wolves, the questing work, okay? And then also you could purchase uh, subsequent ones for some glimmer. So the Trials of Osiris is going to run every uh, Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it's going to go until the reset on Tuesday. Now, um, the first map for the first week it's out is going to be Burning Shrine. They said they're going to rotate them. Uh, he didn't say on stream exactly which maps are going to be included. I'm going to guess they're all going to be somewhat uh, close quarters maps. Anything that you're probably used to playing in Skirmish is probably what you're going to play in uh, Trials of Osiris. So now there is no matchmaking between you and your teammates. You got to go in there with a ready-made fire team, but it's going to matchmake you with enemies, and it's going to be on connection. As far as we know now, it's not based on it's not skill-based matchmaking, and I don't really know how I don't know how I feel about that because I know a lot of you guys talk to me in the comment section about the lag that you guys experience in different countries, but I don't know. I mean, I don't want to be matched with a team that's just way way better than us simply because we have good connection and get slaughtered, end up losing, and end up getting kicked out of the trials. Also, when you're playing a Trials of Osiris match, once the game is over, either you lost or you won, you're going to get matched with a different team. You're not going to keep playing each other over and over, okay? I definitely like that. Now, at the end of every match, uh, Etheric Light and also some Trials of Osiris gear, be it armor or weapons, can drop at the end of every match. However, the more wins you have on your scorecard, apparently um, better or more rewards are going to open up that you can actually purchase from uh, good old brother Vance. Now, if you lose three times, you're out. However, if you get nine wins on your scorecard, then you can go back to Brother Vance and then uh, get some rewards for all your wins or buy another passage if you want. Now, there's also what's called passage coins, okay? And those can be uh, earned from just normal Crucible, but I think you have a higher chance of getting them if you play the Crucible playlist of the day. You know, like when you log in where it says daily, heroic, and all that sort of stuff uh, on your left-hand side? Whatever Crucible game mode that is, I think you have a higher chance of getting uh, passage coins there. Uh, from there, you can buy consumables from Brother Vance. Those consumables include a boon of Osiris, where uh, winning your first trials match will count as two. You also got mercy of Osiris, where your first loss will be forgiven. And also favor of Osiris, where you'll start the trials off with the win already. Now, let's talk about rewards. Okay, so the more you win, the better the rewards are. Okay, so like two to three wins, they give you like a bronze tier reward. You can get some modes of light, uh, passage coins. To get five wins, you can get weekly armor. Six wins, you can get a silver tier package. Seven wins, you get the weekly weapon. And if you saw on stream today, that uh, auto rifle, I definitely want. It's one of those uh, high impact, low uh, low fire rate. Love those things. Vanquisher type. Uh, if you get eight wins, you get a gold tier package. Nine wins, we have no idea yet. We'll have to see what happens uh, come the weekend uh, after May 19th. And just to reiterate from my first initial impressions video, um, it's basically uh, once you get the five wins, you've won that particular whole match. I mean, once you win five rounds, you win the match, okay? Uh, or it could go up to nine. And remember, you can get overtime when both teams have not killed each other fast enough. A control point will spawn somewhere in the middle of the map. Got to take control of it. And uh, we, I believe there's no points from revives right now. See, in my video, when I showed you that um, I killed everyone, didn't uh, did not capture the control point, but uh, Bravo team won by decision. So still a little fuzzy on how we lost that particular round. That's pretty much all I wanted to cover with you guys. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, well, you know, I always commit Mesa fail and miss a few things. I'll leave it in the comment section, or if you'd be so nice to leave it in the comment section for me. You guys help me out tremendously, you know that. Uh, and that's it. So um, check out my other initial impressions video where I kind of give you my full, full review, uh, uh, full, uh, full review. Mesa Babble Engage, 
full review of uh, what you need to know right away just to get into the whole thing and understand the mechanics of it. And then also uh, a overall review of all four PvP maps. And then I'm going to be doing uh, full reviews on each map in particular, except for the one map where I just had a really bad game. But uh, that's see Mesa Babel Engage. That's it. I absolutely love you all. I, I would have not have gone to Bungie if it wasn't for you. And drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on Twitter at Mesa Sean. Share it if you enjoyed it. Check out my stream. The links will be in the description. Oh, and that's another thing. I'll be streaming like crazy because I'm getting a new MacBook. So uh, come House of Wolves. I'll probably be streaming literally every day. That's it. Babel Mode has been engaged. Love you all. Stay beautiful, Guardians.